What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Just a quick little heads up. I do have the garage door partially opened. So if you hear the dogs barking or the neighbors blowing leaves, just trying to get a little bit of fresh air into the garage. I was doing some car maintenance earlier, so I just wanted to kind of cool it off a little bit and uh, knock out a video. What we're going to be doing today is going over my carries of the week. I am changing the format just a little bit. I'm just going to go back to doing the main carries as opposed to the companion carries to save a little bit of time, but also so I can spend a little bit more time focused on those main knives. I will do other videos for like periodic updates on companion carries that will cover most of the smaller knives or the knives that I do use primarily as like a fifth pocket or a pocket dropper inside of an organizer. I'll do those completely separate. Having said that, let's go ahead and jump into what I had in the pocket this past week and talk a little bit more about them. So Monday, I went with a Mannix Monday theme. This one here is the St. Nick Knives exclusive Mannix XL in CPM 4V coated blade with beautiful red G10 scales. They are very grippy, but they're not like sandpaper going in and out of the pocket. I do have an MXG gear deep carry pocket clip. It is a fold over deep carry clip and it does improve <laughs> how deep the knife actually rides in pocket. As you can see here, has about eh, about that much knife left out not too bad um, i was able to carry this one because i worked from home on monday but otherwise i don't know that i would necessarily be carrying this one into the office it is a very large knife and i actually am zoomed out so that i can get this one in frame some upgrades that i'll probably do to this i'll probably go ahead and get the ceramic ball and the titanium ball lock compression lock stud crossbar lock i'm not sure what to call that but i will probably get the titanium piece here because the actual titanium titanium crossbar cage lock thing whatever we're calling this actually works nice because the jimping on it is just a little bit more aggressive on the plastic sometimes i feel like i'm slipping when i'm trying to get a hold of that grip so I end up having to squeeze more than normal to get it to, as I bump the camera, to get it to fall shut. And it is fall shut. This has great action. Still no side to side or up and down play. Excellent ergos. I love the Manix 2. And it's just, the Manix 2, while it does fit, it's like a just barely fit onto the knife. And I was curious about the XL. So a friend of mine who was thinking about selling or picked it up to sell sent it to me to check it out and I ended up obviously picking it up because I really like this this has a lot of handle and it leaves plenty of real estate and I actually can afford to move around a little bit on this one so it's very comfortable very roomy and it works really well so it's going to probably be a knife that ends up getting rotated in more and more it'll probably share time with the k320 and the shaman for like a work knife and there's a couple other ones that i do kind of gravitate towards when i know i'm going to be doing a lot of work so look for a full review on the manix xl <laughs> manix 2 xl man i am zoomed out and it's still not going to fit on the camera holy cow we'll try to do this angled and we'll see how it goes i might have to move the knife around or i might have to close it but i'm really enjoying it you know spider coats come with a fantastic edge they have a great heat treat i haven't had to sharpen it i haven't had it long enough to use it to sharpen it so i will do follow up on all of that and then if i do the flytanium and ceramic ball i'll do an assembly video for that in case in case you're curious i do have one of those on the manix 2 and it's a very similar process so if you don't want to wait for that if you have the parts you can search my videos for the flytanium manix 2 install and it and it'll walk you through that and again it is very very similar in this you just a couple little things you got to look out for when you're doing that install on tuesday i went with a titanium tuesday theme and i carried the kun wu tao this is a really cool little knife here. It is M390. It is a full flat grind with a very thin geometry. It has a Timascus collar. It's a little bit of Timascus, but it, it's still nice. It's a little pop of color. Beautiful milling around the scallop sections on the knife on the bottom side. It has a nice tall handle, fits in hand really well. 
has plenty of space for me to fit my full hand into so i really do like that a lot um not really feeling this pocket clip i've talked to jd on instagram a little bit about that he did a very in-depth mod for his i'm still looking around to see if there's maybe something else or if i'm just going to end up kind of like knocking this down a little bit it doesn't need to be quite this tall for it to catch the pocket and it is kind of light so it does tend to flex and move side to side a little bit so those are a couple things about the pocket clip but there's a full review that's going to be coming for this one as well i am really enjoying this it has the flipper tab and the front flipper and it is very smooth action on the titanium i'm assuming it has like the steel collars or washers on the inside that the bearings are riding on i can't even see down in there let me try again with the flashlight here in this lighting can't really let me turn it down a little bit can't really see down in there to tell if you can see now it is so tightly fit the tolerances on these are really good so when the disassembly happens, I'll let you know what kind of bearings. I'm assuming it's ceramic, but I just don't know if it's in a nylon washer or if it's in like a bronze washer. But it has really good action, very comfortable to use, and good lock bar access. So really like this knife a lot. Really enjoying my time with it. Am I not zoomed out enough? Hold on one second. Yeah, I'm zoomed out. This is crazy. I guess a lot of bigger knives this week. <laughs> so I am going to try to use every square inch of the table. I am eventually going to have to install the new stand that I got so I can fit these in here. All right, moving on because I spent enough time on the towel. And again, full reviews coming for these two knives in the future. One that's been in my pocket a lot, that's been on the channel a lot. And you all should know how I feel about that. For Wednesday, I went with the Warncliffe theme. And this is the Wii Roxy 3. Beautiful black washed blade S35VN done with a nice edge from the factory. Have not sharpened this one up e either. I end up doing a little bit more of the hard use stuff with the bigger knives. And then I'll take this as an EDC and carry it. And it ends up, you know, getting into packages. Occasionally, I'll break a smaller box down, just small enough to get it into the trash. Not like really cutting it down to little thin strips, just breaking it down enough to actually get into it. This one here is about to be disassembled and maintenance. It's been long enough, and you can see here it's kind of dried out because it's not shaking shut like it used to. So I'm gonna go ahead, disassemble it, make sure it's lubed up nicely, and then I will post that video for anyone out there that is interested in this one. But it has a ton of deployment methods. It has the thumb hole, and then you can reverse flick from the, um, or spidey flick from the thumb hole, or you can do the, you know, like cocked or laid where you get into the fuller and flip it from like down low both are very comfortable and then it has a pretty good front flipper even though it has the larger jimping it's a unicorn front flipper so this one here really easy to flip and it has nice action and i really like the titanium it's a little bit more chunky beautiful backspacer and pocket clip the bronze hardware on there is really nice so that was what was in the pocket on wednesday thursday i went with a thumb stud titanium textured thursday apparently didn't even realize that i was going for the thumb stud titanium but that is the Demco AD 20.5. This one here is the 3V blade steel. Has a beautiful stone wash. Um, I did have to strop the edge up here recently. I'm not quite sure how much I've been using it for it to start to feel like it was snagging on the paper a little bit. I was just cutting some labels and then kind of cutting through the paper to see how the edge was doing. And uh, it was getting hung up in a couple spots. So I just took it across the strop and it immediately went back to just slicing through the paper. Really digging these shark bite scales from Original Goat. They're really nice. Like the back spacer on here, the jimped back spacer. It just, you can feel it as you run across them, but they don't stick up too high. So they're just above flush, or they may be that they have enough gap in there that you can kind of feel that. Lynch Northwest Deep Carry Pocket Clip on here, and then skiffs in the pivot really great action these are just very comfortable knives they are almost like an exact fit right like there's no room up front or out back and then it has plenty of 
blade edge cutting edge for me to do the task that I'm using it for and then it still carries small enough in pocket to where it doesn't take up a ton of space so I really enjoy this knife um, I have the other one as well that has the fat carbon on it and I've really been enjoying those knives they have gotten a ton of pocket time since I've gotten them and the more spot more time I spend with them the more I enjoy using them they're just very comfortable they are great carry size weight uh, with the right amount of cutting edge fidget factor is there so I really do like the Demco's I know when they first dropped the Austin a ones a lot of people were upset about them but they got the heat treat right they're at 60 and a half so really solid heat treat for Austin a it's gonna have solid edge retention it's gonna be really easy to maintain and strop so that's really nice on the Austin a and you know they're going for 125 now and i think that's really fair for a knife that is made in taiwan it's not a chinese made knife it's made in taiwan which is a very similar manufacturing to what you're going to find from a u.s knife for 125 austin a getting the shark lock you're getting a ton of aftermarket options to customize that knife yourself so i think it's a great alternative to a spyderco which is generally going to run you around anywhere from like 130 up to just over $200 depending on the model what you want and you're getting similar aftermarket support out there as well and that takes us to Friday and I just went with a flipper Friday theme and that is going to be the ProTech Mordax this one here I picked up off of Kevin over on Lefty EDC and uh well I didn't pick it up off of him I kind of pestered him a little bit to sell it to me and he finally was ready to sell one time when I asked so able to pick this beautiful button lock up on it I actually like this design so much now nah, I'm not going to spoil it for you I really do like this one a lot and it has great action no side to side no up and down and the button has a hint of stick which I like on these tight tolerances mean that it is going to sandwich between the stop pin and the lock plunge lock to where it's not going to have any play and as you can see on those skiffs great action I know that Kevin likes to crazy glue these I just spent a little time getting it centered up I don't know if it's going to show up here because the black makes it hard to see and to me if it is slightly off it is not going to be enough to bother me whatsoever it looks so darn close this has the green operator button my only complaint about this is i wish for the show exclusive they would have maybe done that on the blade somewhere and not this big old mark on the handle i think they could have they could have tucked it in back there off the magna cut i think you could have put the blade show um, not blade show yeah the, it's a one of the blade shows and then you could have put number 3460 you could have put the number 3460 on the top there and then put the show info there this is probably cheaper and easier for them to do but great ergos much larger than the malibu so you get lots of room and then you get a decent forge hoil for me with large hands i can only use the first knuckle on this for like detailed work if i wanted to choke up if I go to lay my finger in here, you see that I'm actually laying right on top of the edge. So for me, it's just kind of like this. And then if I'm choking up, I'm just really kind of using my thumb to guard, guard, guide through the cardboard or push cuts. And then if I need to do any pull cuts, it's actually very comfortable. But same thing here. I'm just using the thumb to make sure that I don't slip into what I refer to as like a partial um, choil and sharpening choil and finger choil so that is what was in the pocket on friday there it actually fit on the screen they're all angled a little bit which is i know a little weird but i actually am zoomed out so that's just how large those first two knives are they take up the whole screen let me know what you've been carrying here lately that you've really enjoyed you can let me more know more than one but tell me kind of why you're carrying it and what you're really loving about it um, and any feedback on it or any questions on any of the things that I've carried here, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer that for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like. If you're enjoying the content, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you follow along. Thanks to everyone out there who is subscribed, regularly watching, leaving likes and comments. I appreciate your support. You are awesome. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, peace.